G'day everyone and welcome to my video today. Well I'm going to be working in my black art journal and I'm going to add some dimension to my page using some masking tape. I will be actually crisscrossing the masking tape all over the page just to give it some really good dimension and depth. This is also a good way of using different types of media to art journaling. So as you can see, I'm just ripping it off. I'm not sort of being careful with it uh, and just making that basket weave look to the page. So I keep adding tape until I'm happy with the end result. Once all done, I've got my Delusions paint, which I'm going to be playing with. And I'm just going to brayer this onto the page using my brayer. So just giving that a dry off. And I'm just going to use another shade of pink here and just add that to the corners using my blending tool. Just using my brayer again just all over this really adds some really good interest to the page. Just drying that off before adding another colour to my page and this time I'm going to be using a stencil just add the paint through the stencil using a blending brush Now I do have this Tim Holtz stamp set and I do love this script as well. So I'm just going to add that into the background just using some archival ink. Now I'm just dusting this off with my homemade embossing buddy and I've got some stamps here and these stamps are by Dilusions and I'm just going to use my VersaFine embossing ink pad here and I'm just going to also add some white super fine embossing powder. This will enhance my flowers really nicely onto the page giving some nice depth also and interest. So don't forget it is a really good idea to use an embossing buddy before stamping on your images because the embossing buddy will resist any of the powder. If you do have some powder that has stuck to the page just get a dry paintbrush and you can just brush that off. So I'm just going to do the other side of the page here with the same process just randomly stamping all over the page with my VersaFine embossing ink. Now all the supplies that I am using will be listed on my website and my website link will be down in the description box below. Now as you see when you heat set this the flowers really start to pop off the page. Now I've got this Frankie magazine and I've seen these dolls on a page and I'm going to use them today. So I'm just going to cut them apart and just place them all over my page. 
Before I do though, I've got a white gel pen and I'm just gonna go over the green leaves or the green flowers just to accentuate them off the page a bit more. This adds some really good interest as well to the page. So I've cut all my pictures out of my dolls and I'm just going to place them onto the page. I'm going to glue them down with some Little Birdie uh, gel medium. When I actually put the dolls on, because the eyes are looking in various directions, what I did was try and match up my dolls looking in the directions to other dolls on the page. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Now, as you can see, it's a really good background to these dolls and that was the sort of look that I was after. So I'm just going to dry that with my heat gun because what I want to do is uh, some doodling around each of my dolls as a bit of a frame. So I've just got a fine black marker here, just going around the edge just with a squiggly frame. And then I'm just doodling some frames actually around each of my dolls. I do love doodling uh, when I'm doing an art journal page like this. Now I do want to emboss a border and I'm just going to use my VersaFine embossing pen here and the same embossing powder and just put a squiggly line both on my left and right hand side of my pages. Just heat setting that and that will blend in really nicely to the background. Now I do have a magazine cutout box here that I have heaps of words and sayings in and they're just from a magazine so when I see something I tear it out or cut it out, stick it in this box. I've also made up some word sheets here just on sticker paper and I've pulled out some things that I would like to see on my page. So I'm just going to cut all of these out. It's a bit of a mishmash, but that's the page that I'm going for today with a heap of words and some encouraging quotes. So just fussy cutting some of the script words out as well. So this is really fun to do, to add to a page as well. I saw this Modern Chicks and I thought, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty fitting for my page today.
Now today's page is a really busy page but I really do like how it turned out today and do like how the masking tape in the background has worked as well. So it's great to do art journaling with different tools and products to give a different look. So I really do hope that you have enjoyed this art journal page for today and found some inspiration. Now if you have enjoyed this please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell for up and coming videos. And until next time everybody happy crafting. See ya!